Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be. I'd like to present to you an advanced Excel file which involves quite a bit of automation. And the file uses VLOOKUP, a today formula, two macros, and if statement, etc. So there are a number of uh, formulas, uh, some um, uh, formatting, and you'll see down the bottom here that there are two worksheets. One called Staff Records, which holds the employee data, and there are 11 columns. It also holds the today's date, the current date from your computer clock. It also adds up the total salaries for management purposes. And it has a macro here, which enables me to click that button and uh, go to the details for employee sheet. So when I do that, there I see <clears throat> the details for an individual employee. There's another macro here which will take me straight back to the staff record, so we don't need to fiddle about with uh, worksheets, etc. Now let's go back to uh, all about the file itself. <clears throat> the macros, incidentally, were recorded using the record macro command. The sheet contains a VLOOKUP formula to show individual results. Note the column references when we are looking at the formula shortly uh, from 1 to 11. These will need to be manually edited after copying the formula across from the first record to the 11th if you add a further row or a further column, which we state here. The worksheet details for employee uses an if statement to test if vacation is due and relies on the fact that the vacation is due after 12 months based on the start date. Note the use of conditional formatting here, which will highlight if the answer is yes, as we'll see, that that will be highlighted in red so that it stands out, again, for management purposes. It also contains an embedded OR statement within an IF statement to test for a salary review again, as we shall see. After the vacation is commenced, you would need to manually change the last vacation date in the staff records worksheet, because Excel doesn't know exactly when the uh, vacation will start. <clears throat> Note that this file has also been saved as a .xlsm file, so that the macros work upon you opening the file and confirming that you wish to proceed. Now, some conclusions here. The concept of the file can be adapted for stock control, classroom student details, maybe travel groups and more. You're only limited by your imagination for this type of file. You can also use the file as an advanced learning feature for job and employment applications. It becomes, as it were, an advanced uh, brother for the uh, basic and intermediate job application files, which are very, very popular and for which links appear in this particular window. So let's see how it works. First of all, we'll go to our staff records. We have 11 columns from last name <clears throat> across to performance. As we saw, we have a formula here, today equal today, open and close a bracket, to see the today's date from the computer's clock. We also have a auto sum uh, feature here, which will add up the salaries for management um, uh, consideration. Maybe there are budgets involved, who knows. This, this is the important cell here. Whenever I type in a last name for a staff member, We'll say William Green, so Green. I don't need to press Enter. I simply need to click See Staff Member Details, and I'm taken by that macro, which I simply recorded, uh, to the individual record for William Green. Because his performance is good, I see that he is due for a salary review. Why? Because... I used this formula here. If his performance was excellent or good, then show the text review salary. 
If it wasn't, if it was fair or poor, then show no review necessary. So what we'll do, we'll also look at his vacation. Is he due for a vacation? Well, <clears throat> his last vacation was more than 365 days ago. So there is the there is the formula there. If today minus N5 is greater than 365, then show me the word yes. Otherwise, show me no. We'll see the word no shortly in another staff member's uh, starting date. Remember that the start date is the uh, is the date that, uh, uh, strictly speaking, they're due to go on vacation. So uh, the last vacation, it will check if that is greater than 365. Back to staff records. Here's another little macro, which takes me back here. Now I'm going to uh, check Hutchinson down here, Betty Hutchinson, because her performance is only fair. So we'll click in here, Hutchinson. See the staff member details and their vacation not due because she had her last vacation starting on that date. Performance fair. Therefore, no review necessary because her performance was not excellent or good. So you can see that there is a lot of automation in this particular spreadsheet. Uh, you need to understand the concept and certainly you would need to practice because uh, practice makes perfect. Uh, it's, it's the key to learning Excel uh, on this particular uh, channel of mine. I have almost 400 Excel uh, uh, files and uh, I'm sure you can find whatever you're looking for. But this one is important because it shows uh, rather more than just one particular uh, item in Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to practice. Practice makes perfect. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.